Thank you for joining us on this special episode of Power On. There's a lot of discussion right now about oil and gas in Ventura County. So I brought in some industry experts, an engineer, an earth scientist, and a regulatory specialist. Mike Giuliani, John Harris, and Jane Farkas, welcome to Power On and thank you for being here. Let's start with Mike. Mike, you've spent your career in this industry as an engineer in Southern California. What do our viewers need to know? Thank you, Olivia. I've spent my entire 40-year career working in the oil and gas industry here in the state of California, and I love the environment just as much as anybody else. I'm just like you. I want a clean planet, and I want to pass it on to my children and grandchildren. California is the most heavily regulated oil industry on the planet. There is literally nothing we do that isn't regulated. Because extensive government oversight already exists, California oil is cleaner and safer than the oil produced in other parts of the world. But what you need to understand is that California is an energy island and there are no pipelines into the state. So every barrel we don't produce here has to be brought in from overseas. That foreign oil oftentimes is produced using extreme methods that are not subject to the same strict environmental control we have here. This makes this oil dirtier and more harmful to our planet. Once this foreign oil is produced, it then has to be transported to California by tanker ships, which brings additional and significant pollution effects to our state's air and water. Bottom line, oil produced in California is better for our state and our planet. What we need to do is think globally by powering locally. Mike, thank you so much for sharing your thoughts. I'm going to bring things over here to our earth scientist with us today, John Harris. John, you do the walk in your work between preserving our natural resources and producing our energy resources. What do you want our viewers to know today? Thanks for having me, Olivia. Mike Giuliani is exactly correct. There are no extreme or unconventional hydrocarbon extraction techniques occurring in Ventura County right now. There's a good reason for that. The hydrocarbon basin is comprised of high quality uh, reservoirs that allow for the natural flow of hydrocarbons, oil and gas through well bores to be used by Ventura County citizens as they've used it for the last 120 years. John, as an earth scientist, can you explain to me how you produce oil and gas locally while still protecting our natural resources like our water? That's a, that's a good question and something that's uh, near and dear to my heart. Um, we, uh, my, my team and myself, you know, we live in Ventura County, we're citizens of Ventura County. We work in both the uh, oil and gas and the ag and water industry. And we work every day, as Mike pointed out, with federal, state, and local um, regulatory bodies that are very stringent. We have probably the most um, stringent regulatory uh, oversight in the uh, country, if not the world. And uh, we work every day to um, protect all of our natural resources, including our hydrocarbon resources, alongside of our uh, future and current freshwater resources. And I personally think that oil and gas extraction should occur alongside of those um, extraction of those drinking water it, for agriculture, drinking, and, and industrial purposes for many decades to come. And you're on the front line striking that balance between making sure that we're safe and healthy and have fresh water, but also making sure that our energy needs are met. I think that's well put. Thank you, John, for giving us the earth science perspective. Let's hear from Jane Fargus about regulatory compliance in the Ventura County oil and gas industry. Jane, what do our viewers need to know? Thank you, Olivia. It's a pleasure to be here today. I think one of the things that's frustrating to see, there's a lot that's on social media that only gives a small portion of what actually is done in the oil and gas industry every day um, for operational, for new facilities, um, for everything that we do on a daily basis. There are no over-the-counter permits um, for drilling or for, our, um, or for our facilities. We are highly regulated. We are overseen by 25 um, federal, state, and local government agencies. Um, locally, when we go in to get a permit for something, it is overseen by multiple agencies within the county, and there are many um, there are many different compliance reviews that are looked at for new and ongoing operations, and um, it's I could go on for hours and hours about all the all the little minutia of it, but it is highly highly regulated. So you know, I think something that 
has been so interesting for me speaking with you all outside of um, filming and outside of some of the, the clips that our viewers are gonna see is how much you all care about the county, about your community, and I don't know that I've ever heard that narrative that you all care. I think you all are made out to be bad people, but you're lovely people, and you live here, and you produce oil here. So that was really surprising for me to, to hear that. Ventura County is a beautiful, wonderful place, and we produce here, and I live here, everyone in my company lives here, we're a small company, we're 30 people, we're um, the guys in the field, our, their homes are right downstream of, of where our oil operations are, we have extremely clean, um, do a lot of due diligence, make sure that, that everything looks great and is tight and is within the regulations to make sure that we're leaving the planet better for um, not only their children, but everyone's children. So it's important to us. You know, the carbon intensity of a Ventura basin produced barrel of oil, you know, is, is, is low. Um, it's high gravity. We don't, as we just talked about, do any extreme or unconventional type extraction methods that are expensive and, and use a lot of, um, you know, carbon. Um, you know, there's a reason that our gas prices are very high. Uh, it's not just the taxes that the state imposes, but it's also the fact that we're somewhat of an oil island, as you said, you know, we're bringing in 70-75% of the crude uh, to refine here from overseas or through, at least via tanker. That's it for this special episode of Power On. Thank you so much to our panelists for taking the opportunity to speak with me today and tell their truth. Thank you to our viewers. We'll see you next time. <laughs>